is a hearty, delicious broccoli and cheese soup. It is going to taste exactly like the broccoli and cheese soup you would get at um, chain restaurants like TGI Fridays or um, Ruby Tuesdays, etc. Um, very darn close and actually better for you because you're making it at home and you know what goes in it. So I use for mine frozen broccoli because I always I eat so much broccoli I literally have maybe nine or ten bags of broccoli in my freezer at all times. So I use double this amount. I'm just showing you what I have here for now. So what you're also going to use is processed cheese. That's how you're going to get the, you know, it's like Velveeta. That's how you're going to get that cheesy flavor. If you want to use real cheese, you can do that, um, but it's just not going to taste the same because they're not using real cheese at restaurants. So you're going to need some chicken broth. Then you're going to need some cornstarch, which is going to make it nice and thick. Um, some milk, some heavy cream, butter, of course, butter and everything. This is to top your, your soup with, some cheddar cheese, sharp or mild, your choice, and then some onions, some onion and garlic, okay? So it's an easy recipe, and I say it comes together, I would say, in about, uh, I don't know if I'm being completely honest, maybe about 40 minutes. Um, it doesn't take me longer than that. Um, I enjoy my broccoli pieces to be a little smaller smaller than this, so what I do is I let it defrost and then I kind of chop them into bite-sized pieces like this. This is kind of how I want them in my soup. Now, um, you can buy, Bird's Eye makes a baby broccoli florette um, style, which I normally use for the soup, I just didn't have any on hand, and they, they really do come like this small in that bag, so you don't have to worry about chopping it. Um, I use florets. Don't buy broccoli cuts or anything like that because what you're going to basically get in a broccoli cut bag is this. Lots of this. And that's okay, but you're not really going to get the top piece of the, you know, of the broccoli. You're, you'll be getting a lot of these kind of pieces. So it's kind of like a waste of money getting a broccoli cut bag. You're going to want to take your minced onion. I used, I would say like a small to a medium onion. And you're going to want to saute it in your butter. As always, uh, the proper amounts and ingredients are below the video in the comment, underneath the comments, or I think they're above the comments, one or the other. So you want to saute these until they are translucent, okay? Now the onion is translucent. What you want to do is you want to put in your garlic. I like mine with a little bit more of an intense garlic flavor. So I use, I don't know, I would say about six cloves of garlic, six to eight. Um, it doesn't make it taste extremely garlicky. It just has like a nice flavor to it. I also um, add in a little bit of garlic powder as well. Um, toward the end, depending upon how it tastes to me. Um, if you don't like uh, garlic that much, then you can have the amount that I'm using here. So we're just going to continue sauteing now the garlic and onion together. You want to pay close attention to that and make sure it doesn't burn. But uh, you also want to do this on a medium heat. Put in some pepper and some salt and continue to saute until all the flavor comes together. So now what you want to do is you want to add in your broccoli. This is going to be a little tricky. So just making sure this doesn't fall all over the place. You know what I was thinking? I may need to even switch to a bigger pot. Let's see. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I never remember which one I use, this one or my larger one. So we'll see what it looks like. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I may need to switch to my bigger pot. Okay, so I didn't necessarily get a larger pot. I just got a taller one. So now I have, as you can see, all of my broccoli in the pot. I've already added a little bit of stock. So it is about... I don't know. You want to reserve one cup of stock, okay? So I had some here. I'm just going to, this is from my other pot. I warmed up some homemade stock that I had, and then I'm, I don't, I didn't have enough for this recipe. Because I use, I generally try to use homemade stock. Um, and I warm it up first before I put it in whatever I'm using to make sure it's good. So now I have to compensate with sorbonne, which is okay. So now I'm going to 
I just I'm measuring this because I want to make sure I reserve a cup so I know there's four cups in this container um, if you don't have any homemade stock you're gonna just want to buy two of these because that's the amount you're gonna need basically all right so just putting the stock in now and I want to make sure I reserve a cup because I'm gonna use this cup of stock with the cornstarch to get it thick so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it from a medium up to a high just to get it to a boiling point okay and once it's at a boiling point, you put it back to about a, me a low medium and you let it simmer for 15 minutes. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes for me and the broccoli is nice and tender. And as you can see, they've gotten smaller. All right, so the next step is you're gonna wanna cut the heat to a low. I would say, yeah, definitely low. Now, while this is you know boiling and simmering, you wanna cube your cheese, okay? Then you want to add it in little by little and melt it okay you don't want to overwhelm it or you know put in too much at once but you want to keep stirring it until it's melted okay i usually add in about i don't know three to five at a time cubes big cubes doesn't have to be much um you know if you like yours very cheesy you can add in more cheese if you like it to be more cream based, you can use less cheese, but this is what I found has worked for me. So I don't change it. And it's a pound of cheese. <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, and that's because it is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's a lot of cheese, and it's a lot of saturated fat, etc. So it's not it's not a healthy soup, okay? It's not a healthy soup. I'm not gonna BS you. So I just keep adding it in until it's all melted, and then I will show you the next step. Oh crap. Oh, I totally forgot to hit record when I was putting in the cream and milk mixture. So, <clears throat> a little too late for that now. So I've added in now my milk and cream. I don't think you need a visual of that, but I wanted to record it anyway. And then I added in also a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder to enhance the flavor of the natural of the um, fresh garlic. And then now, what I did was after I incorporated the cream in the milk, I have put in the last cup of chicken broth with two-third cup of cornstarch to thicken it up. So now I'm just waiting for that to happen. I have it on a medium right now. So if you want more broccoli than this, feel free to put it in. I used two 16-ounce bags of broccoli florets. If you like yours with more broccoli, add that in. I'm more of a creamy soup type of person you know I like most of my spoon to have soup and just have like you know a bite or two of the broccoli you make it however you like it um, but this generally works for me and this is what comes close to the restaurant type broccoli and cheese soups before I put it in a plate I kind of want to show you the thickness that I want you to look for so that this way you can get a general idea do you see how I need to use a little bit of muscle to get that wooden spoon around and before when I lifted the spoon all the liquid would come off of it um, but now when I lift it you see how it's nice and thick and creamy that's kind of the consistency you want the soup to be I just wanted to show that to you guys before I show you the final dish okay so I mean even the way I stir it you can kind of see already that it's very very thick and that's what the cornstarch does you don't want to stop doing this though while you're dissolving the cornstarch in there of course all right so now I'll show you what it looks like all right so this is what it looks like I like my cheese to be melted on the top okay it's an easy recipe it's delicious um, it's about three days good in the refrigerator um, while you're waiting for it to cool down you're gonna need to cover it with the top or it's gonna get that slimy skin um, that develops on the top of the soup okay so delicious okay you can see the little pieces of broccoli in there all right well when you try this recipe you're gonna love it okay and if you enjoy it please like my video share it and subscribe to my channel okay I post videos or at least I try to post cooking videos every week sometimes I may skip a week or two because I'm busy but I try my best all right as always thank you guys for watching bye